right, so we're going to do a convection demonstration here. We're taking a look uh, at the materials we have. We have uh, uh, a water bath here, plastic see-through container. Uh, we have six styrofoam cups, four holding up the bath. We have a cup we're going to place some hot water in. We have some dye so that we can uh, more clearly see the convection taking place. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, add some, uh, some dye uh, drops to the bottom of the water bath. Okay, so we're going to add three. One right here. One right here in the middle. And then one more right over here. Okay. So from your profile view, uh, it's not very clear. You really can't see those, but if we uh, kind of take an overhead view here, you can more uh, clearly see that we have uh, three decent size uh, dye drops sitting in the water bath. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is add some hot water uh, to that cup. Then we're going to slide the cup underneath the center die circle. And we're going to watch what happens here. Okay, so from the profile view, you can see the dye is rising. So the heat energy is being transferred from the cup to the plastic to the water. Now, if we get overhead view of that, you can kind of see those uh, dots that are placed to either side of the center dot are starting to migrate towards the center dot on the lower end or the bottom of the water bath. Now I'm going to place two pieces of paper just directly above uh, the up current and we'll see what happens to those pieces of paper. So we can see that they're actually moving in opposite directions from one another due to the upwelling current caused by the convection. Notice now that the center ink dot is almost completely gone and new ink is being brought to the surface from the outer ink dots or plots. <clears throat> so 
So this is the type of convection that can be uh, assimilated with sea floor spreading, uh, mid-ocean ridges, divergent boundaries, and plausibly this convection, uh, these convection currents uh, in the mantle are what causes, uh, for example, the mid-Atlantic ridge to be uh, widening or diverging. As you can see now, the crust papers are uh, at opposite ends of the water bath. Try this one more time. Pretty clear we have a divergent boundary right here. All right.